kids. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Two minutes to flame out. And uh, since last week was so epic in length and content, we're going to keep it easy this week. Um, going to sip on some sunshine. Yep, this is the uh, IPA from Dan Palmer that came along with the lovely, uh, there's always stuff on the top of these cans, came along with the lovely heady topper. Uh, so we're going to get into this. The uh, brew day today, we're doing a, an IPA that we haven't come up with a name yet uh, for. <laughs> it's going to be, it's pretty basic malt bill, but it does have some unique things. Uh, it's got a bunch of white malt. Uh, malted wheat in it. White Walt. Walter yeah. White. 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 Walter White. White. It has Walter, a lot of wa Walter White isn't. No. No, he's in Britain. We have. So it's got malted. Calypso. Yeah. And then. And Warrior. And so I'm thinking maybe a Dancing Savage. I don't know. Ooh, the Dancing Savage <laughs> IPA. I like it. We got um, the Airmail. Dude, you can't put that on there. We got. Oh, there was no return address. But my address oh, is on there. Oh. Well, you know, everybody well, knows uh, duh, the... duh, no. Check it out. We got. We got some cool stuff. Some of you guys might recognize that. Thank you, Aunt Rogerson, for throwing us. Uh, we're gonna put really them on cool the. We're gonna put them on the cabinet. Airmail. It's okay. awesome. I love this. Ooh, that does smell good. Clash is... IPA. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah. Ant, you're the greatest. Good stuff, man. Love it, man. Uh, so, brewing this beer up. Oh. And that's that's our timer going off. Flame out. So, uh, in addition to that, we kicked the first keg of Dropkick Nate already. We, um... We kicked <laughs> how many kegs today? We actually kind of made it a mission today to kick as many of these kegs that were down to the bottom. We still have one left to go. Which is the Pliny the Toddler. Um, there was a little bit of dregs. Yeah, not much left in the that The Smash one. Beer's gone. Smash Beer's toast. The first, we finished that off the today. The first of the uh, drop kick first, was gone. Yep, first keg of drop kick. What cake. was the other one? Oh, well, I cleaned out oh, the keg from gosh. the uh, cream ale. No, the cream soda. The cream soda. Big diff. Yep. This smells pretty good, Pops. This is awesome. It's so cool. I love it. Loving those labels. Cheers, so Ant. Sunshine. And cheers, Dan Palmer. Thank you, Dan. Cheers to all our subscribers. Cheers to everybody. Cheers to everybody. We've been working out here in the shop today, just getting all kinds of stuff cleaned up and done. Hmm. The aroma is great. <clears throat> the color is nice, but there is something. I see I like what you're saying. A little, little something in there. I like the taste too. It just. It is good. Keep it it's cold. No, you know, don't don't follow a heady topper with this one. Uh -uh. But no, that's good. So that's Lawson's bad. Lawson's finest good. liquids. Yeah. Hmm. That's a pretty cool label. Check that out. All right, things are progressing. Uh, later on, after we film this, after the boils up. Uh, oh shit, it's up. Got to put some flame out hops in. Hey, we're gonna. I heard the um, timer go off. Yeah, we're gonna keg up the uh, my mom's beer that she brewed, uh, which is a speckled heifer. We're also gonna keg up the um, we're gonna go ahead and keg up the prickly pear pale ale. Yeah, put that in a keg and get it some conditioning time. So, cheers, guys. See you next week. Homebrew up. Homebrew up. <laughs>